In this video, we are going to discuss about shoot through fold happens in a voltage source in water. In order to explain shoot through fold, um, consider consider a single phase full bridge in water. A single phase full bridge in water consists of uh, four switches and four diode and a DC input supply. Here the switches are in order to obtain positive voltage, in order to obtain positive output voltage. T1, we will turn on switches T1 and T2. Therefore, output voltage is equal to plus ADC. In order to obtain negative output voltage, we are operate, we are turned on switches T3 and T4. Therefore, the voltage across the load is equal to minus EDC. Okay. In this, for proper operation of a single phase full bridge voltage source inverter one switch one switch single switch for me single leg is operating at a time okay this is the first leg and this is the second leg for obtaining positive voltage in the first leg upper half switches turn on condition and in the second leg lower half switches in turn on condition similarly in order to obtain negative voltage upper half switch from the second leg is turn on and lower half switch from the first leg is turn on okay for the proper operation this is the operating sequence then shoot through fold means Due to some uh, commutation failure, due to some commutation failure, if same switch, if the switch in the same leg, if the switch in the same leg operate at a time, that is, if T1, T4 operate at a time, it forms a short circuit, short circuit in the inverter or the switch short circuit or DC source. So our inverter may be damaged. This is happens due to turn off delay due to any commutation failure. Incoming device and outgoing device of the same leg in the bridge conduct at the same instant and short circuit the and this short circuit the DC source. This fault damages both the devices. This fault is known as shoot through fault. Okay, the solution for the shoot through fault is to provide a dead time dead time or delay between the turn off of the turn off of turn off of a switch and turn on on a switch here this is the delay time in order to provide a delay between the turn off of the switch and turn on on of a switch we can eliminate the shoot through fault a solution is to introduce a dead band or delay between the trailing edge of the gate input of outgoing device and the leading edge of the gate input of incoming device. Dead band should be longer than the turn off time of the inverter. This dead time or dead band should be longer than the turn off time of the inverter. Thus we can avoid the shoot through fold. Shoot through fold usually happens in the voltage source inverter. Okay.